Hey, what's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one, it's about to go down. In Fallout 76's new map expansion, they added a communist camp. And yeah, I figured, you know, we test out the waters and see what happens if we nuke their camp, if they have any interesting reactions or anything. As you know, if you nuke like the settlers area or the raiders area, they become in hazmat suits, but they don't have any like special unique dialogue. Let's see if the communists do. Or if they have like special communist hazmat suits or something. I don't know. I'm interested in seeing what happens. And also in case you guys don't know, this new map expansion is only a part of the public test server currently on Steam. So keep that in mind. And also be sure to stick around until the end of the video because I'll be sharing with you guys a surprise. If you want, you know, feel free to skip to the end if you get bored during this video. Just check out the surprise. I'm sure some of you may be interested in it. Yeah, let's nuke. Let's do this. Alright, so the communist camp is located down here at Camp Liberty. Where my camp is located at. But I'm going to nuke my camp for science! Let's do this. Kablammy! It's going down. Goodbye, communist. You know what, let's chill here for a second. Let's watch the nuke just blast off. I don't ever really do that. This is a cool little feature that you get to see inside the nuke silo. Alright, it's blasting off now. so crazy I wonder what would happen if we like go back in that area because you can access that area wonder if you die from like the flames and stuff now let's go over here and watch the nuke blast so for some reason in the PTS it doesn't show um, the nuke radius after all, it is the public test server, so there will be some glitches here and there happening. I'm going to try to make it to the top of this. I'm not worrying about the super mutants. Here it comes. Oh, snap. Didn't see that explosion. All right, let's head over there. All right. Let's see. Also, in the nuke blast, in the PTS, the uh, radiation doesn't affect you at the moment. I think they did that on purpose, just so players could explore a bit more with the nukes. Because Bethesda did mention two nuke down in the new map expansion area. So here's the communist camp. see all right this is a dead one are they all just dead Diseased commie bear. There's a communist bear over here. It's dead though. Might have to wait a minute for things to respawn. This is where my camp was. Oh, there's a the soldier. Wow. They're not wearing hazmat suits. What about over here? guy killed him. This dude's naked for some reason. It happens every time too, the commander. Maybe once they respawn they'll be in hazmat suits. I hope. Which right now this feels like a fail. <laughs> no interesting dialogue. It's like they don't even realize they were nuked. 
It would be neat to see them in, like, you know, communist hazmat suits or something, because the Blood Eagles have their own kind of hazmat suits. Fun fact. So do the settlers. And the raiders, I believe. Yeah, they're all just dead already. Wow, that guy died, I guess, while sleeping. I guess while we're here, I'm going to read some lore, and then I'm going to see what happens when they respawn. Maybe they'll respawn in hazmat suits. I'm going to stick it out for a little bit here. Right now, it seems like it's a fail. Yeah, this is where I set up my camp at. It's a nice camp location. Except for the part where there's a communist bear here. It's kind of deadly. But yeah, you can have it like right by this waterfall if you place it up near there. I might make a video in the future covering awesome areas to camp at in this new area. But yeah, right now everything's dead. While we're waiting for things to respawn though, real quick, I want you guys to see, I want you guys to check this out. I found some lore in this area that's it's pretty crazy. So starting off over here inside the mess hall, like the main area, like the first building you see when first entering the camp, you can find this terminal right here, the communist base terminal. And on here it has a couple different things. Let's start with this one, Operation Sleeping Giant Information. We have found several reports based on Operation Sleeping Giants at the government agent's tents. I will write below some of the key findings from the reports. Overview. The DIA were after more funding from the government to get this funding. They used the current threat of invasion to their advantage. The DIA created a program called Operation Sleeping Giants, which hoped to prove that the communist state could create sleeper agents out of the U.S. children. Crazy. Radio broadcast. Upon looking into those government agents, notes and reports based on Operation Sleeping Giant, we have found out that many other comrades in Appalachia have been dormant and can be awoken via a unique phrase. We have set up a plan to create a radio mask to play this triggerable phrase over the radio in the hopes our comrades will hear this and be reawoken. If this works, we will have a steady stream of old members coming back to the camp, ready to join our side once more and help rebuild America into a communist utopia. Not no more. It's been nuked. Anyways, carrying on here. Re-education program. To help build our army, we need as many recruits as we can possibly take. The council has suggested doing a re-education program. The re-education program will consist of capturing capitalist Americans and putting them in holding cells back at the camp. Over the course of a couple of days, we will use the Operation Sleeping Giant video along with other methods to bring them over to our side. Ones who are receptive to the video, as well as our other means, will join our ranks as brothers and sisters under the cause. The ones who fail will be terminated. Sheesh. And lastly, Storm here. This is interesting. The Storm is what's going on in this new area. I don't know. I can't wait for the mystery to unfold about why the Storm is here and how it got here. But yeah, states here in the wake of the storm. In the wake of the unprecedented storm, the camp has sustained substantial damage. Notably, the storm resulted in the destruction of segments of our camp's protective wall, along with severe damage to the bunkhouse and several other buildings. At this current time, a significant portion, if not all, of our members have been relocated to temporary accommodations in the wild camping zone while repair efforts are underway. These restoration endeavors, however, are proving to be time intensive. So that's a little bit of information about this place. And there's something else, too, that's really interesting that gets more into that sleeping uh, giant thing that they're talking about, of like brainwashing children or whatever. Over here, you can find a building right back here. And within this building, you can find this. Operation Sleeping Giant. Operation Sleeping Giant Overview. Operation Sleeping Giant has been set up to investigate the effects of communist radicalization and brainwashing on children. We believe that the communist state could use this method and tactic to gain a foothold in this country via creating sleeper cells. The goal of the operation is to test the potency of brainwashing along with the short-term and long-term effects it has on sleeper agents over 15 years. This means we will have to leave sleeper agents in a deactive state for upwards of 15 years. The test subjects will be controlled through the use 
use of a trigger phrase which will reactivate the brainwashed subject. The phrase is as follows. The sleeping giant awakes to find an unhappy world, accompanied with a loud bleep at the start and end. So yeah, that's what they were talking about that they would play on a radio broadcast earlier on that terminal that I showed you all. Anyways, here's also a council member terminal, and on this uh, council terminal we can find some things, such as Stony Man Tower notes, Brown House notes, encrypted note, and another encrypted note. Let's start with this one. Assault on Stony Man Tower. Today I found myself contemplating an important matter brought up by another council member. Where should we commence expanding our territory? I had thought about this for a while, and in my assessment, the logical starting point should be Woodstock Tower. In recent weeks, we've faced persistent attempts by those moronic mutants to breach our camp's defenses. This proposed assault would serve a dual purpose, eliminating a looming threat while securing a valuable vantage point in close proximity to our camp. Which is where I went to look uh, at the nuke explosion, but my screen went all white. But anyways, brown house notes. Uh, searching the brown house. As I examined the paper map earlier today, my eyes were drawn to the brown house. This sparked a memory from my pioneer days. It dawned on me that this location was once the president's holiday retreat in the park. An idea occurred to me that we should consider dispatching a scouting party to thoroughly explore the house. I hoped that we might uncover remnants of documents alluding to the presence of government facilities slash technology elsewhere in Appalachia or D.C. Should this prove true, the potential is there for us to explore these areas using the information from the documents and securing advanced technology, thereby securing our safety and dominance for years to come. Which, the Brown House, let me show you real quick. The Brown House is located over here. Um, right here at Rabbit and Camp. And yeah, a fun fact the president did used to come to the Brown House. Uh, president Hoover, I believe, if I remember correctly. So yeah, kind of cool that the developers added this place. And there is something interesting at the basement of this place. Don't know if it's going to be expanded or something when they actually release the quest line for this area, but. Yeah, I'll take you over there here in a bit when I'm waiting for this to reset, just to show you all while we're getting into the lore of this communist area. Anyways, encrypted note. Access denied. Well, let me check that out. Another encrypted note and access denied. So, yeah. Now, let's go check out Rabbit and Camp while we're waiting for the communists to respawn. I wonder if they are going to once again respawn in hazmat suits. That's a little detail on one of the bear trash cans. That's brutal. Littering is unbearable. Small details, man. But yeah, here we are at Rabbit and Camp. And when you nuke this region, you will notice like the whole area is affected, it seems like. It's it's odd. It's like, I, I don't know. But yeah, this place is really beautiful when, you know, it's daylight and the storm kind of subsides a little bit. Bunch of, it's really colorful here. But up here, we can find the entrance of the brown house right here right but real quick let me take you around back here there's a fun fact right back here in the back of the brown house we can find this sign and on this sign it states this this house is called the brown house it was the home of president hoover and his wife lou while they stayed at rabbit and camp the house gets its name from the color and as our presidents lived at the white house it was only fitting to name their summer home after the house's color fun fact pretty cool now let's enter the brown house though I didn't know that. I thought that was pretty cool. Learn something new. Huh. But yeah, you can find the president's room in here. There's also this robot that just goes over some fun facts about this place. But yeah, this is the president's room here. Terminal that you can't access. Pretty cool. But carrying on. I want to show you the basement of this place. That's why I came here. It's interesting. Where's the basement? Aha, here we are. Oh, by the way, this is really cool. I'm sure some junk collectors are going to find this awesome to decorate at their place. Tons of these little ponds, queens, rooks, stuff. You know, it's a cool junk item. Cool junk items to collect. But yeah, down here is the basement, and check this out. Something was going down in here. I think this is where the communists did invade, and they blocked us off or something. I don't know. We can't open it at the moment. But yeah, check this out. On this terminal, we get a little bit of information. New personnel protocol. 
All new personnel looking to access the Rabbit and Bunker complex must complete the following steps. Hand over government issued ID to the nearest stationed MP. MP must verify government ID. If the ID is verified, please print a Rabbit and Bunker access card. Depending on personnel security clearance, please make personnel aware of restricted areas. Pretty cool. Access door control, you can't. It's an error. Let me see. Can I, like, use uh, a glitch to get back there just to see if any we can see what's back there. The camera glitch. There we go. Alright, I glitched through the door. So yeah, it looks like it goes even deeper. Interesting enough. I'm interested though. What is back there? It seems like it does go deeper. And yeah, the government was involved with this area. Like the communists suggested. Anyways, let's teleport back over there. Oh, Daylight. Starting to look pretty good. So yeah, it's not always gloomy looking. For those of you that maybe have wondered that. Oh wow. Nope. The communist does have some unique dialogue. But yeah, it seems like the nuke doesn't affect them. They're not aware of it. They don't even become in hazmat suits. They can hear my capitalist thoughts, huh? Yeah, he's naked again. Oh, it's a lady this time. Money isn't going to save you now. I want to show you guys this bear. I'm actually using a communist weapon. It's one of the new weapons. I just got this out. That came within this map expansion. But yeah, the commie bears over here. Thing is brutal. There it is. And it's always legendary. It seems like every time I came here to fight it. Freaking crazy. Still haven't finished my essay for the proletariat badge. Ooh, ready. But yeah, now for those of you that decided to make it to the end and check out this surprise, uh, I just want to let you guys know that, that I am hosting a giveaway right now. It's going to be ending on May 11th, so not many more days until it ends. And the winner will get to choose a console of their choice. I'm going to be giving away a Nintendo Switch an Xbox Series S, or a PlayStation 4. And all you got to do to participate in this giveaway is just simply leave a like on the video, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notifications by clicking that bell, and follow my Twitch down below in the description. If you can't follow my Twitch, that's all right. As long as you do the other three, you're okay. But either way, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could also follow my Twitch. I know some of you don't have Twitch accounts, so that's the reason why I said, you know, it's all right if you can't do it all. But yeah, once again, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could. I do stream Fallout 76 on my Twitch. So, yeah, feel free to join in on some of the live streams. But yeah, good luck to everyone that is participating. I'll be announcing the giveaway winner on my community page of my YouTube. And I'll be announcing it on my Twitch as well. If you did follow my Twitch, I'll be messaging you it. And I'll also try to respond to one of your comments too, letting you know you won as well. So, yeah, good luck to everyone that's actually participating in this. Just figured I'd share this little surprise for you guys that don't know about it. I'm out of here, though, everyone. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.